Hello everyone and welcome to my very first TBR game. As you can see behind me, I set up a board that says Jeopardy. This is a TBR game that I decided to start doing and I came up with it kind of like last year in the, in the summer of last year and I didn't really have all the kinks worked out until this past January. So obviously I couldn't do it for January but I'm going to start here for February and I'm going to be doing the what is my TBR. Jeopardy style. So this TBR game is not going to be based entirely off of Jeopardy because there aren't any questions necessarily back here, but there are a bunch of prompts. As you can see behind me, there are six categories ranging from sci-fi, romance, YA, miscellaneous, fantasy, and then mystery right here. And these categories all have their own prompts here. Miscellaneous is one that includes other genres like horror and nonfiction and classics and things like that that I don't own enough of to be able to have its own genre. Um, so the categories equal genre and then down here which would would have been the questions in an actual Jeopardy game are the prompts for these genres. So I decided I wanted to change the color uh, for each genre and category because a lot of these prompts aren't necessarily ones that could work with another genre. For instance, a prompt like over a book over 500 pa pages would work for fantasy but might not necessarily work for romance. So I decided to separate the categories and genres depending on their color and I have extra ones here, so once I use one of these, I'm going to take it off and replace it with a new one. So let's get into the rules a little bit. I read on average about six books a month, so that's why this is great because I have six categories and maybe I get six books in one category, maybe I get five in one, one in another kind of thing. So I'm going to start out with rolling a die here um, to get my category. And then I'm going to roll it a second time to then get the prompt in said category. So obviously there's only five prompts in a category, just like in Jeopardy, there's only five. So if I roll a six on the second roll, I'll just like go up to the first one again. Um, but yeah, we're going to see how it goes. I'm also going to do a reward system for myself. So in Jeopardy, you know, the winner would have the most money. Um which they do, I don't know why I did this, they do get money, but I'm doing a reward system for myself. So if I read all six of the books that I pick out for myself, I am going to be able to buy myself three books. So, and then I'm going to basically cut it in half. If I read four of the books, I can buy two. If I read two books, I can buy one kind of thing. Um, so that I need, I can in effect cut myself off from buying a lot of books but also be able to reward myself as well for reading my books that I have on my shelf. Um, another fun thing that I have in here is mixed in are daily doubles in here and that just means that if I land on a daily double I for the next roll have to pick two books for that prompt because it's doubling it. I believe in here I think there might be two daily doubles. So if I land on both of them, that means I would be reading eight books or picking out eight books in the month. So we're going to see how it goes. I hope this works out. I hope it's fun and I hope you guys enjoy it. So I have my handy dandy book thing here so you can see me doing these rolls and let's get into it with the first roll. I have a two here, which means I'm already in the romance section, so that's exciting. And four. So let's see what that prompt is. Uh, two, one, two, three, four. The tape kind of tore this, but I got primary color. So that means I just choose a book that is a primary color. 
Okay, so for that prompt, I had to choose a romance book that was a primary color, so I decided to choose Conventionally Yours by Annabeth Albert. This is a book that I actually bought because of my boyfriend. We did this fun video where we went to Barnes & Noble, and I had to buy the books that my boyfriend picked out for me. So if you're interested in that, the link for it will be up in the info card up above here. But this is a male-male romance, I believe believe and it's pretty much set in a convention like a kind of cosplay thing going on so I'm excited to read this uh, on the back it says two infamous rivals one epic road trip some uncomfortably tight quarters why is there only one bed and a journey neither will ever forget so I decided to choose this one it's blue which is the primary color probably not the right shade of blue but it is blue um, and so I'm gonna go with this one I'm very excited to read it hopefully I can get through it pretty quickly it's just under 400 pages so conventionally yours since I used this prompt that means I'm going to pick one off of the extras that I have here I'm not gonna look at what it is let me unclip it here um, so I think this is the right side up if you can read it that is the one that is going on the board so I'll put the stuff here all right so now for book number two look I didn't get a daily double on that one so four which is already miscellaneous category and two let's see what that is so four and two I also have to be careful when I'm taking these off because the board isn't very secure up there um, it already started to come off a little bit. Oh, God. My sister might be very happy with this one. The prompt is classic. I already know which one I'm going to choose. I'm not even going to do a little cutscene for that because it is right here. Here we go. North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. Um, this is kind of similar to Pride and Prejudice in a way, but I watched the show version of it with the guy who plays Thorn Oakenshield, <laughs> and now I'm forgetting his name, Richard Armitage, that, that wonderful man. Um, but I loved the show so very much, and my sister read the book, loved the book, and told me that I have to read it. So I bought myself a copy, and I've been needing to read it. So this is going on my TBR this month already. I have like a just under 400 page book and then I have a classic that is also just under four or just over 400 pages but a classic is going to be a bit slower to read. Hopefully I can get through it. The text is kind of small. <sighs> I'm hoping I can get through this um but yeah this is book number two. So same instance now I have to pick one off of here obviously like I said I'm not looking some of these I actually have more prompts than others so if you have prompts for me please comment down below some prompts I asked on Twitter as well which some of these I think are the Twitter ones but I'm just gonna take the, the kind of the first one that I can get off of this ring here I'm not looking at it this is it <laughs> if you can see it the glare might be a little much on that put that there and stick it back wow beautiful that's two books down four more rolls to go next one three oh i'm getting all the categories right now and four so three is ya and prompt number four let's see what we got Ooh, ooh. This might take me a second to get, um, but it is standalone. So um, I have to find a standalone <laughs> that is a YA book. Oh, I love how I don't really have to move too much to do this. All right, here we go. I'm pretty sure this is a standalone. An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. This is the same author of Sorcery of Thorns, which I read two years ago, I think, and absolutely loved. And that one's also a standalone. So in case you're looking for standalones in YA, that was definitely one. Um, but yeah, this one I am 99.9% .9 sure it is a standalone. I know nothing about it, but on the bright side, it is a fairly short YA novel and let me see how many pages this is. Thing. Oh exactly 
300 pages. That's awesome. I think I should be able to fly through this. So great. That is book number three picked and ready to go. Oh, I almost forgot to grab another one. So we're going to the color coordination here really makes it easier to just pick them right off of the ring. Not looking at it, obviously. Oh, the ring's not closing. Ah, uh, okay. This is the new one that is going up here. I think I have some easy ones and some hard ones in here. Some prompts that I might not be too excited about. Be too excited about. Too excited about. Okay, so that's three books. So three more to go right now. Category three again. So that is another YA. And another four. Good thing I put a new one up there. So going down to four again. I just took it off so it's not even sticking too much. I can't believe on my first TBR game, I got this. So great. Um, that means that I have to do another roll. First, I have to replace. I, can, I literally can't believe that happened. I knew I had put one up here for sure. I don't remember where I put it um, to just make it things interesting, but I did not expect to pick that up at all. So I'm already going over my kind of limit. And that's another thing I forgot to mention. When I did write all the daily doubles, I made sure to write a few of the daily doubles in each of these categories in case I chose it and then, yeah, uh, great. <laughs> so this is the new one that is going up for YA. Okay, so this, <laughs> we're gonna re-roll that and that means I have to choose two books for this. Category five. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a bad one to get to, I think. Category five is fantasy, and then I have to go down to the fifth prompt. The very bottom one. Oh my gosh. I'm scared. Okay. All right. That's not too bad. On TBR the longest, I thought this was going to be, like, the longest book I'm, um, like, on my TBR, meaning the actual length of it, but on TBR the longest. Okay, this one might take me a second, but these are ones, so I have to choose two that of fantasy that have been on my TBR longer than the other ones. Okay, I picked two books, and I think this uh, might have screwed me a little bit, but on TBR the longest, I had to choose two books because the previous roll, I hit a daily double. So... Choosing two books for that prompt. One of them is going to be A Darker Shade of Magic by E.V.E. E. Schwab. I have had this book on my TBR for years now. This and actually the second book in the series for years now. I remember trying to read it a couple years back and I guess I just wasn't in the mood for it so I had put it aside. But we're gonna try it again. This one is kind of like parallel Londons. Each London has like a different color and the main character can kind of go between them. I don't really know too much about the magic system but I'm constantly seeing artists and like illustrations and renditions of these characters which makes me very excited especially for the character Lila. I think that's her name. Um, don't really remember but yeah uh, I'm very excited for this one and I think a lot of people might be excited to see me read this but yeah this one is going to be one of them and the, the second one I chose for this prompt oh my god I'm so I'm scared um, but it is The Providence of Fire by Brian Staveley this one is a book that I featured on my series I want to finish in 2021 list. So the first one is called The Emperor's Blade and I read that one a couple years back and loved it. I really really enjoyed it. Loved it so much so that I immediately picked up the second and third book in the trilogy. Obviously didn't get to them so this has just been sitting on my TBR for four years? Three, four years at this point. Um, so yeah, we're going to read this one. Um, this world is a high fantasy world following three children, not really children, but they're like teenagers in like 20s, early 20s, of this king who ends up dying. Um, and it pretty much follows like their different journeys. So the daughter 
is kind of like into the politics which women in this world not so much into the politics so that's like a new thing um and then it follows her two brothers as well one is a warrior and one is a monk and i believe the monk is the heir to the throne but it has a lot of action a lot of political intrigue in it and i really enjoyed the first one so i'm very curious to see where the second one goes <sighs> But yeah, let's see if we can do it. Um, this one is like close to 600 pages and the words are kind of close together but not too bad. I think I could do it but I love that it is a floppy paperback. So that's thrilling. So that was roll number, let's see, four. So I have two more rolls unless I get a daily double and then I have to go again. But yeah, let's see what we get now. Category one sci-fi and two so one and two. Oh, i forgot to fill the fantasy spot over there but i'll do that after this one what do we have here oh thank god okay this is amazing mood read it tore a little bit mood read yay that's exciting. Mood read means that I will have to choose one, but I can just choose at any time in the month whatever sci-fi book I want to read, I can read. So whatever I'm in the mood for, whether that be a giant one if I so choose, or one of my tiny little novellas that I have, which most likely it's going to be a novella. Um, probably an Adrian Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky? Is that his name? Um, novella, but yeah, that's a mood read, so I'll put that in my mind that I have to choose a sci-fi later on in the month when I want to read a sci-fi. But yeah, okay, so we need to fill the sci-fi spot, which is blue, and the fantasy spot, which is green. So this one is going to be the new one for sci-fi, and... I have the most prompts for fantasy because that is a majority of my TBR at this moment in time. This is going to be the fantasy. One more roll, right? Yes, one more roll if I counted correctly. So right now there are five books on my TBR, one mood read book, so that means I have another roll here. Category five. <laughs> oh no! So five is fantasy. Ooh, and I rolled a six. So there's not six prompts here. So I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six it. So we're gonna go up here. Please be good to me. Just please be good to me. Ah, this one's exciting. Okay, this is an arc. So I get to choose one of the arcs that I have. I'm very excited. If you don't know, I work at a bookstore and the bookstore is sent arcs from a majority of the publishers to read and review. We are constantly getting arcs and luckily each of us kind of have our own genres that we enjoy reading. So I'm like the main fantasy reader at this bookstore that I work at. So little backstory to this arc. <laughs> I'm so excited for this one. So. I was talking to my assistant manager like a week and a half ago, a couple weeks ago, talking about how I had requested this arc on NetGalley and I hadn't heard back from them um, in, you know, quite some time and I just was like really interested in reading it. Long story short, yesterday, literally as I'm filming this, yesterday I was at the back information desk and she comes to the back and she's like, Cassidy... this. <laughs> she hands me this. She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. <sighs> oh my gosh. This is one of my most anticipated books of the year. It's coming out July. I believe it's at the end of July for the U.S. I'm not sure about the U.K. or any other country, but coming out in July, I am so excited for this. The back of it says Mulan meets the Song of Achilles in a bold, 
queer and lyrical reimagining of the rise of the founding emperor of the Min dynasty. And I believe it is a debut, um, or at least in fantasy anyway, because it says from an amazing new voice in literary fantasy. But I'm so excited. Basically, this is following a young girl who disguises herself as a boy to kind of escape her fate of nothingness um and she disguises herself as a boy and hides in a monastery basically she becomes a monk so it starts out when she's 10 and then it's going through um the years of her being in this monastery and then her fate kind of changes and grows and she goes on this epic kind of adventure and I'm so excited. I think it's gonna be tragic. I think it's gonna be beautiful. I think there's going to be a sapphic romance. Hopefully I am praying. I'm so ready for this. I am just so excited. So I did get a physical arc of this. So this is the uh, pr book that I chose for fantasy prompt with an arc. Yeah, so I'm so very excited for this like you have no idea. I'm so excited. I know that a few booktubers have read this already on NetGalley and I I'm hearing nothing but good things about it. So I'm very excited to form my own opinion and my, and my thoughts on it, but I think I'm going to really, really enjoy it. So this actually might be the first one that I end up picking up because I am so excited to read this. Okay, so these are the five books five? Six books? Oh my god, I can't count. These are the six books that are on my TBR for the month of February, including one mood read. So in total, I am going to try to be reading seven books this month. Let's hope I can do it. I have some pretty big ones here and a classic. We shall see. And February happens to be the shortest month of the year, so am I doomed? Probably. But I'm very excited either way. So if I am able to read all seven of these books on my TBR, that means I can get three books. Like I can buy three books off of my my wish list from my own bookstore or from another used bookstore or something like that. I'm going to buy three books. Um, so hopefully. But if I manage to read only a few of these, I can still treat myself uh, because I don't want to entirely cut myself off from buying books. But yes, so I hope this video worked out. I hope this TBR game worked out. I am very excited about it and I kind of loved the different prompts that I have. So if you have any other prompts that I should add to these categories, let me know what category it should be added to and the prompt that I should write. <laughs> I think eventually I'm going to evolve this game a bit more and maybe add in some actual questions and some other kind of things that might happen to me while doing this. Um, I still can't believe I got the Daily Double on that, on my first, very first TBR game. But yes, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please comment down below. Let me know if you have read any of these books and what you thought about them. I would love to know. Please let me know which ones I should get to first. I know for a fact I'm going to be reading this one first, but let me know if I should prioritize any of these other ones. But yeah, also give me some suggestions on how I can like maybe make this game a bit better or I don't know. But I had a lot of fun and I hope you had fun watching this. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun YouTube stuff and I will see you all next time. Bye!